All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to, um, I'm going to show you basically how to do frame by frame animation. I'm just going to show you a couple of methods. The first method I'm going to show you is just how to do a, a straight ahead animation, a typical kind of real free form, just one frame after the other, uh, just a rough way of how I would go about doing it. All right, so what I'm going to do is on this bottom layer, I'm just rename this. We're actually going to do an underdrawing. Okay, let's try it this way. There we go. We're going to do an underdrawing, so we'll just say, um, um, pencil is what we'll call it. Uh, and then what we'll do, we just draw on top of it. Okay. I'm not going to do a whole big thing here because I don't, you don't want to watch me do a bunch of it. So I'm actually going to use the pencil, which is not usually my favorite tool for this. I'm going to put the stroke like this. And one thing I want to show you is this. When I try to draw, notice I made like a perfect circle. See how that looks? So the reason why it's doing that is that right now it's in this straighten method. Now, if I do smooth, what you're going to see is that I get a little bit of assist, okay, but not as much, but it's definitely not exactly where my lines were. Now, if I do the last one, you can see you get almost no assist, okay? So, the idea here is that this one will like really try to like make them perfect. This will kind of go make it a little bit better. And then this will make it basically not at all. Um, so when I'm just doing sketches, I like just do ink. When I'm doing the final drawing, I might use smooth and I use um, straight and never. Okay. Because I just, I don't see that ever looking good. Maybe if you're a graphic designer, but if I was going to draw a circle, I would use the circle too. It just doesn't make sense to me. So anyways, pencil, um, I'm just going to keep that on ink, uh, one. Uh, we're on pencil here, and we're just going to go ahead and start drawing. I'm just going to have him being thrown into the screen, so um, I'm just going to I'm just going to do my little cone guy here. So I'm just kind of real, real roughly trying to draw um, uh, him like like so, just kind of kind of like this. Um, and actually, you know what? Let's not do that. I'm just going to do that. Uh, we'll have a back like this right and you get the idea right oh the thing here okay then what i'm gonna do is just go to the next frame and you do a couple ways you can right click and then just do insert blank keyframe and now it's a blank keyframe but you can see i can't see the previous drawing so when you draw with the um, paper and stuff they used to do a thing where you would have a light table and you put one paper under the other or you would just flip your drawings back and forth um which uh, if you use your greater than less than symbol, that allows you to move up and down your frames. So personally, I prefer doing this, where I'll just switch it back and forth. So on my one hand, I'm doing this, and then I will draw the next one. Okay, but I have a feeling probably you're not into that. So the other thing to do is we could just do um, onion skinning. So I'm just going to turn on onion skinning, which on this frame, uh, and it looks like this. Now, I think I already changed this. Uh, you're going to want to change the settings by default. Um, uh, it's a little too dark, so if you just... Hold, oh, sorry, hold it down, go to advanced settings. Um, I take the starting opacity and I'm going to go down to like 20% and then uh, decrease by, I don't know, like that, right? And then you can change the colors here as well and put currently how many frames are shown, all right? It's just because otherwise it's too dark and it actually gets in the way of trying to draw the next one. So now I'm just going to draw my next frame. So I'm just going to go like this. Okay. Like so, and you just do it real rough. All right, so we we'll say. Now, uh, I might be doing it a little bit too rough, but it's fine. No one needs to know. Okay, uh, and I'm looking at that. This is one of the advantages. This is a little bit small or a little bit large, so I'm actually just going to pull this up uh, like that. See? It's nice when you have that ability to just get rid of that. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the next one and I need to insert another blank keyframe. So I can go right here and if you click on this, it'll insert a keyframe. But it, when you do that, right, so that the hot key is, make sure on there, is F6. What it does is it creates a keyframe from the previous frame, which might not be, more than likely it's not what you want. You're just trying to do the basic hand drawing. Um, but if I go right here, you'll see blank keyframes an option. So now every time I click and click on that button, it will now be blank keyframe okay the uh, other way of doing it is um, is it 
would be F7. We'll also insert blank keyframe. F6, uh, well, it's not going to do it there, but F6 inserts a keyframe that's a duplicate from the previous one, and F5, remember, it's just insert frame. So anyway, there we go. So now I'm just going to draw the next one. That's a tool here. Good. Um, and we'll just... Right, so... that and then uh, insert the next keyframe so I'm just gonna have uh, seven this time and then I'm just gonna have it go down like this All right so this could obviously be drawn better uh, and I could do something probably a lot cooler but I'm not going to because I don't want to spend a ton of time here on stuff here that's not gonna really be valuable to you okay so if I were to hit play, you can see I'm gonna hit loop too. So and I'll just make sure this extends the full thing and turn off from the uh, onion skinny. You can see it being moved. So one of the issues is that it's running 30 frames per second. That's a little too fast. So I'm just gonna have nothing selected. Make sure I'm in my dock and I'm gonna change the frame rate. Let's just do 12. So that way each one of these gets held for two. And now when I hit play, you can see, yay, right? Now that's a rough sketch. So what I wanna do afterwards in order to make it more finalized, is I will put a layer above it. So um, we'll just add a new layer. And we'll just call this um, vinyl. Characters in Did I put a special character in there? I did not know that I put a special character. Oops, don't mind that. Um, and let's back that up. It should just be final. I have no idea what's going on there, but whatever. Okay. So um yeah we can leave loop on so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to basically draw over top of these um and go from there so and let's go make sure i'm in that first frame um and what i want to do is actually just like we did before i'm going to double click on this and change the opacity and let's do the opacity oops not there sorry let's do the opacity let's do 20 percent because i don't want it to be too much and we'll hit okay we'll hit okay 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 there it goes all right and now what i'm going to do is start drawing this um and what's interesting is that that didn't actually take so 20 percent thanks capacity 20 percent 20 okay look ah uh, that is really weird I have never had that happen. All right, so uh, it's acting very strange <laughs> in general. Um, let's actually, let's try one more thing. Let's type in 20 here. There it goes. Uh, for whatever reason, when I was using my numpad on my keyboard, that was making it, and I think maybe that's what happened. I don't know. It's acting really weird. But anyways actually got to work. I have no idea why it works typing it not on the numpad, but all right. So now it's 20% and it's behind us. And I'm just going to use that as a guide. So at this point, I could use the pencil tool if I like that straight line thing. Uh, personally, I'm more a fan of the uh, paintbrush tool here. Um, either the paintbrush or the fluid brush, whatever one you kind of like. Uh, I'm going to change the stroke size here to, come on, can I click on you? There you go. To two. And then uh, we'll leave it black. And let me see. So you can see straight and smooth and ink. So it kind of depends what you want. I'm going to stay with smooth for now. And uh, I'm going to make pressure sensitivity on. I'm not worried about uh, the uh, tilt of my brush. That doesn't really matter too much to me. And then you can see here's the smoothing as well. So uh, now what I'm going to do is just use that as a guide. I'm not going to do a great job of drawing this just because I'm trying to do it with some haste. So, um, so I'm looking at that and that line looks a little too thin. So I'm just going to up it a little bit more. Let me see. There's not a ton of variation, but we'll just go with that. So we're just kind of going to go like this. So imagine I was doing a nice job. Does the eraser work on this? Oh, it does. Sweet. Okay. Um, right? So you can kind of see 
I'm just going to use the drawing underneath as sort of a guide. And then we'll just draw. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is go to the next one. And then I can either have uh, a seven or I can just put a button here. That'll make a new blank keyframe. And again, I'm just going to use this as a guide. Right? So I'm doing a bad job, but it's kind of because I don't really care right at the moment. But, you know, you would spend more time. I would, personally, I would spend more time on this. So I would hope you would. Um, all right, so like that. Then go to the next one. I'm just going to have seven this time. Yank. Right, so you're just tracing what you already drew, more or less. All right, and then lastly, F6 again. Oops, I did F6, sorry, I meant F7. Um, and then here we would just draw him basically on the ground. Okay, again, just imagine I did a nice job. You know, it's hard to imagine. Uh, there, like that, right? And so, um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna actually turn that layer off, we'll lock it too. Uh, and now when I hit play, all right, I'll click off. Um, let's click off, there we go. Now when I hit play, you can see we have our animation of him falling forward as it was Right, that looks fantastic. And then from there, you can just paint it. And so you can just do all the paint tools that you are probably already familiar with. So I'll just go here and I'm just gonna go in my paint bucket. And then we would just, um, for the tool, uh, uh, Q, we need to get a little more on the orange side. Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and close medium gaps because I got some pretty big gaps in there. And I would just go through and I would just go frame to frame. So now I'm just going to use those uh, greater than less than symbols and go to the next one. And I'm just going to fill in all of the orange. Right. And then, uh, well, and then next one. Okay. And let's go ahead and do that. Great. All right. And then you can see there is a bit of orange here that didn't take. So I could try using large gap and see if that worked. That works. Good. If that didn't work, um, what I would do instead is I would just use the regular paintbrush tool that I did not have on. So um, I don't think I have on. Where is Oh, right here. Yep. I'll take the regular paintbrush tool because you remember that's just a fill and make sure it's painted like that. And then I would just manually paint inside of it like so. And then that would be filled in. Um, actually, before I would do that, go back here. What we need to do is make sure we have the paint behind. Because I don't know if you noticed, but it was actually painting over um, our lines, which I did not want. And this way, it'll leave my black lines. Okay, so just make sure you got paint behind. That looks great. Then I would just do the white. And so I'm just uh, going to go ahead and fill. Fill, good. Tool. Color. Let's do something that's slightly off. And then again, just go next. Oops, sorry. Next. Boom, next, boom, next, boom. Uh, and then if I hit enter, which is the preview, I can see my animation. You can see, so you can just go through and you would basically just animate that way. So um, if you ever look at uh, traditional hand drawn animation, they'll do what's called the pencil test. And more or less, that's just a really rough drawing they do on the paper. And they just, they put it underneath the, uh, the camera that's facing downwards. And then they just put picture after picture after picture, and then they can see what it looks like. And then uh, after that, it goes to a cleanup artist. We're doing the same thing. We're just doing it digitally. So that's how I would do um, just kind of a straight ahead. And you could do anything with it. Obviously, there's something very simple here. Uh, but um, we could do uh, that as well. All right. Uh, the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to show you kind of a, a pretty similar process. But instead, I'm going to show you how to draw uh, if you're doing it pose to pose.